short. Oh, well, I could just squat like that. That's <laughs> awkward. All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back. We got an awesome What's Cooking Wednesday for you. Uh, it's been a while. It has. Since we've been in the kitchen. I like to get in the kitchen when there's something, you know, that I really want to cook for. <laughs> now, one of the biggest sporting events of the year is coming up. Um, I don't know if we can actually use the words <laughs> or put it in titles. I think it's like copyrighted. I think you get in trouble. I, I seem to recall that being an issue. Right. So one of the biggest sporting events in American football is coming up. And we have an awesome recipe video for you. Yeah, it's a quick, easy. It's one of those semi-homemade. And it only takes about 40 minutes to put together. Right. So, so let's get going. So even if you're not into the game. Yeah, I'm not into the game. I'm all about the commercials and the food. <laughs> it's a good day for snacking. So. Jamie just hollered about the dogs. The, the oh, Super Bowl yes. halftime the puppy. puppy bowl. The puppy the family, bowl. The family does love that one too. Yep. So this is an easy semi-homemade appetizer. I'm going to call it a super bread bowl. There you go. Dip. There you go. It's a copycat Costco artichoke jalapeno dip inside of a bread bowl. Yep. Two awesome things mushed together just creates extra awesome. Food. Absolutely. Let's get started. I'll be back. First step, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Next, we're going to build our bread bowl. We're gonna use these Pillsbury pizza crusts. If you can find the French bread in a tube, that would work as well. Any sort of pre-made dough would also work. We're gonna use three of these. We're gonna stretch the first one out on our pan. Kind of spread it out a bit. We're going to use a total of three of these. You could also use completely homemade dough. That would work. We're going to give this one a stretch. We want to make a semi-circle here. Like one half of a football shape. I'm gonna flip it around because I think I'll have an easier time working it. Dough number three. Same thing, stretch it up, out a bit. You really want to pinch the ends together. Get it to where you think it looks like a good football. Gonna cut around the edge. I am using the back of a dull butter knife because I do not want to cut my silpat. anywhere just go back along clean it up pulled up a little bit of the edge there to kind of keep it solid Uh, 
don't know. I think that looks like a football. What do you guys think? Make the stripes for the end of the football. We're going to pre-make our lacing. This will go onto the football uh, at the end once our dip is complete. Alright, and the remainder of the dough we will save for later. Alright, we've got a quick egg wash here. Just one egg, lightly beaten. Brush all the exposed surfaces. So this is going to go in our preheated oven for about 20 minutes and in that time we're going to get our dip made. Our dip starts out with 8 ounces of room temperature cream cheese and we're going to blend this down. Next we're going to dice up 14 ounce can of artichoke hearts. Don't get the seasoned ones, the oil marinated, those are just too oily. Plus they change the flavor of this dip. You want pure, plain artichoke hearts. You could also do this in your food processor, but I like a little bit more texture to mine. I want to know when I'm eating a chunk of artichoke. And now all the rest of our ingredients just go right into the bowl. We've got half a cup of mayonnaise. Half a cup Parmesan cheese. Depending how spicy you want, you could add one jalapeno or two. I'm going for about two jalapenos. These are the canned diced jalapenos. I like the texture and the taste of those better than raw. Half a teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And one to two cloves of garlic. I'm of course going for two. and mix till it's all combined. Make sure you give the bowl a scrape so you can catch any stragglers along the edge. From this point, once it's all combined, you have several options. You can make this a few days ahead, store it in the refrigerator, eat it cold on game day. You can Put this immediately into your bread bowl, warm it up and eat it right away, or dig into it now. I highly recommend if you're going to eat it cold though, let it sit for an hour or two to kind of let the flavors blend. If you're going to eat it hot, you can dig into it right away, put it into your bread bowl, put it into another dish, heat it up and give it a go. Our bread bowl is almost ready and we'll get it put inside and baked off. Ooh. Our football bread is getting nice and golden. We're going to transfer our dip to the middle. Put our laces on top 
And this will go back into the oven for about 10 to 20 minutes. There it is, it is out of the oven. It is hot. I'm gonna get this transferred onto a nicer dish and we're gonna give it a taste. That looks beautiful. I'm serving it with some sourdough crisp. These are toasted sourdough baguette slices. And once those start to run out, then you start eating along the edges. Oh, Ta-da! Look at that. It smells fantastic. It does. I, I can't hold it up while we eat. No. So we've got our crispy, crunchy baguette slices. Go in there with a nice, nice heaping helping. Mmm. Those are crunchy. Mm hmm They hold up to the dip really well. Mm hmm They don't have too much flavor on their own, which is what I like. Fantastic. Ooh. To me, this could have had a little bit more heat. Could have been. But I think as it is now, it's totally kid-friendly. Yep. Totally uh, acceptable to every palate. Yeah, this is delicious. Now, there's a couple of really big famous dips and like our, uh, spinach spinach dip is one of them but we don't i don't really care for the spinach so a version like this where it's still full of artichokes mm -hmm. right and lots of cheese and i don't know what else you did to it but nice little kick like, it, it really doesn't have a lot of ingredients it's pretty simple to make i like that you can serve it cold or hot mm -hmm. personally i prefer it hot can you just pick up the whole thing and take a big bite absolutely <laughs> so once you're done with the the uh the chips or the crackers mm -hmm. or whatever then you start tearing into it yep so this one's a success mm -hmm. i hope you guys give it a try let me know if you've had artichoke dip before yeah and if you like it specifically costco's version too because yeah. it is fantastic costco's is really good do you think this matches costco's pretty well no uh, it's been a while since i've had it but yes i think the salt level on this one is actually a little bit lower than theirs i would agree i would agree this is a lot more a lot of times commercial products it can be a little bit much exactly but you know exactly what went into this one mm -hmm. maybe you don't but i don't make sure you guys do all the things like subscribe share with your friends you can find big john tv on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok this is a good one it is i hope you guys enjoyed this i certainly did i'll catch you in the next one see you bye